Uh, this is the new training mode video with voice. Um, so I'm going to show how to download and install the VSAV training mode for Fightcade. Um, it should be pretty easy. The first thing you want to do is get your web browser and go to the following link. So it's born posthumous slash VSAV training. Then you do not want to get the releases. I actually just deleted any FB Neo releases for Fightcade so that this is not confusing anymore. You want to go to code and then download zip right here. Save the file. Then you want to find the file in your downloads. And you can extract it anywhere you'd like. I'm going to choose not to extract it right now. And here's what's important. You're going to find your Ficade install the default place for a Fightcade install is going to be in Documents, Fightcade. Sometimes you might have installed it at a different location, in which case you have to make sure that the location that you've installed it on does not have a space in the path, or the training mode batch script, which makes everything easier, will not work. If that's the case, you should install Fightcade in somewhere like your C drive slash Fightcade and then it will work. I know that my documents install of Fightcade does not have the training mode yet. So I'm going to go into the emulator folder, then the FB Neo folder, and open these two side by side. The first thing you want to do is go to the scripts folder and just drag that into this directory. Make sure it doesn't go in any other directory. After that, if you're on uh, Windows, you'd like to get this batch script. This shell script is for Linux users. I'm assuming if you're a Linux user, you should know how to use that, but it's basically the same. You want to go and put either one of these scripts for your OS into this root folder here. So to check, you want to make sure that FK, FB Neo and this training mode batch are in the same folder. And when you look in scripts folder, you should be able to find this file here. And go up one, and you should be back at FK to FB Neo's folder. So from there, you should run this file, run VSAV training bat by double clicking it. And what this will do is load up the script, and also the correct dip switches should be loaded. Um, at that point, you're going to go to want to input, want to go to input, map game inputs, and then you know map what you'd like. And there's a few more that you should map, which are volume up and volume down. These are used for recording playback and recording, just recording. So I like to set those on my stick. Um, you should also set player two controls. Um, so that you can select your player 2 character. So I'm going to select Morgan, and player 2 will select Dimitri. Uh, once you are inside the training mode, there's a few options. Um, on any option, you can press uh, medium punch to reset it to its default. You might not like the defaults, but those are the defaults that are there. And if you notice down over here, you can look at a description of every one of the settings. Um, so yeah, just play around the settings for the display ones. You can toggle them on or off. The biggest menu is the defensive settings menu. And this sets things like, you know, down backing for your opponent, uh, wake up options, um, 
the guard types um, do not work for some moves. That's known. I will continue working on it, but it should be good enough for many situations. You can set a guard chance. You can set the opponent to do something on block. So there's Dimitri doing a guard cancel. Um, so like I was saying before, there is the record and playback buttons. So here's a recording. To do that, I press the recording button and then pressed it again. And then I will play it back by pressing the other volume button. And you can see it plays back. Um, if you'd like, you can also loop those. So. As you can see, it goes over and over again, plays the recording, and then if you want to not loop it, you can just play it once. Um, the coin button switches between players, so as you can see, I'm controlling Dimitri right now, and let's say I would like to do a recording with Dimitri, I press the recording button, and then I can switch back to my character. And I can attempt to punish Demon's Cradle, which is very impossible. Alright, hopefully that gives you an introduction to the basic features and installation for my training mode. If you play around with it, there's actually a lot more features here. Um, if you have any questions uh, or find bugs, I probably know about a bunch of the bugs, but if you find them or have feature requests or questions, you can contact me on the Vampire Savior Discord. My username is n-b. Bye-bye.